Recite friends, be the man, coming at you from Walker's Mule. Yet another word for the day. Thank God for life, health, and strength. For the way it is, I'm giving him all the glory. Yes, we woke up early this morning. People, it's about 5.30. 5.30 this morning, we got rain outside. It was predicted, but the four, other forecast predicted earlier the week that it, we would be raining by Wednesday. And sure enough, there it is. <laughs> man has made devices that can predict. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. But nevertheless, God has increased knowledge. Knowledge has increased so in man, and now man have made things that helps him predict the weather, and tell weather patterns, and just about every other thing. People, man, have been able now to to come up with gadgets and whatnot. And you know, the Lord Himself told man, to, said at the at the very beginning of time, right after. Right after the flood, you know, God came down and confounded the, the, the languages of the of the people of the earth because it was going to stay right there at the tower where they built this here big tower, Babel. And he confounded the language there. He said, even God said himself, he said, now there's nothing that they won't put their mind to that they won't be able to achieve. And I'm paraphrasing that in a way. Meaning, and that's a powerful statement, people, that tell us something too. That God said, he said, now... Man is a very intelligent being. God made us. So we got to be intelligent. Some of us, I mean the way some of us act sometimes, you would think that we don't have too much intelligence at all for the way that some of us carry on. But nevertheless, man is a highly intelligent being because he's a made in the image and the likeness of God himself. So we are very, very uh, highly intelligent being, more so than any other of God's creation. I know, like I say, some of us don't act like it sometimes, but man is very, very, man is wonderfully made. And I want to say that also. I want to give a shout out to the YouTube fam, uh, to the End Time Harvest Gang members. You know who you are. And uh, we just give, we just give you honor. We give you honor. And that we hoping and praying that everybody, first of all, will have a safe holiday season and uh, enjoy yourself. Be Enjoy yourself, people. Enjoy your life. We don't have but I, mean, I tell you, life is just like, pss, like a mist. It's here in one moment. It's gone the next. And you look around and your life will be, you don't have to be sick all the time either, people, to not be able to enjoy your life. And I admit it, man, not trying to talk doom and gloom, but just trying to get you to wake up and be realistic. You might be feeling okay today. That may not be necessary. So tomorrow. And so today is the sufficient time, you know, live for today, one day at a time, but make certain that you enjoy your life, enjoy your life, and don't let other people dictate how you feel. I know sometimes, believe me, present company included, sometimes that can be very, very difficult, but we must learn people to walk in the spirit. I, uh, I'm trying to think, I heard, I was on my, I was on the PC here, like I said, we had a lot of work done here, and the guy was doing some weather rides and we had some weather yesterday and I stayed in the studio all day yesterday in order to get out of the way of the workers but at any rate uh, I was listening to uh, my one of my favorite teachers other than my mentor Mike Murdoch and I, I call her mentor too and that's Joyce Meyer. I am so crazy. I've always been crazy about Joyce Meyer teaching. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, well, yes, I do. I'm about to say I don't know what it is. Yes, I do. It's the anointing and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the blessings of God that's on her life. And she teach, her teaching style is so unique. And she's, she makes it funny. But it's very, very, very positive what she's saying. Because it's the work of the God. But Jack, George was telling us that. And she got on the thing about selfishness. And I know I talk about that all the time. And I really mean it, people. Because I want to make certain that I stay out of that area. I want to make certain that I stay out of self because it's easy to get self because we that's natural. That's something that's naturally born into a baby when they come in this world. Mine, mine, mine. They, they, they're selfish. They're very, so that's our nature. It's nature. It's in our nature to be selfish. So we have to we have to be very, very careful sometimes, the George was saying that some of the things that we don't think is selfishness is selfishness. And so, you know, we just need to be very careful when it comes to that and how to walk in the spirit and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now we know that's that's biblical. 
In other words, we must walk in the spirit. As long as we walk in and keeping our eyes on the pride, that will make you not wander off one side to the other. If you'll walk straight, if you keep your eyes on the pride. You see, when Jesus told Peter to come to him on the water, Peter was doing all right as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. But it was when he started looking around. That's when he began to sink. Well, see, when we start looking around at the issues of life, that's why I like brother, my brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge. You know, the way he keeps his eyes open. And, you know, like our end time harvest game slogan that he came up with, which I call the mission statement. He said, we watch and we share as to not get caught on the way of Jesus Christ's second return. That's powerful. Very powerful. We must watch and be ready and be ever ready to give an answer to whatever man may ask of the hope that is within those people. And like I say, we got some difficulties ahead. And uh, right about now, we see the first fruits, uh, the first wind, I should say, of things to come. In other words, uh, it's, a, it's, it's uh, we seeing the, 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 how we call labor pain. Because it's a lot more people that got to happen. And a lot, and it's going to get, the heat going to get turned up a lot hotter than it is already. So, we we saying to everyone, let us let us let us pray for each other. Let us let us study. Let us get more close and closer to our Savior, so that we might be able to stand in these evil days that are about to come on us, people. That's what I'm saying. And uh, and there's no one that's uh, immune. Everyone, if every, if you are alive, you're gonna have to go through. And so I want to be alive, and I want to be part of that number. I want to, I'm part of God's army that's going to stand firm and fight for the victory. See, the victory is already out, but we still got a few more battles, people, that we're going to have to fight. Now, I know that might sound counterproductive, contradictive, but I said the victory is already out, but we got a few more battles where we yet got to fight. People, you understand what I mean when you read the book of Revelation, when I told you on, my last, on one video, I said we win, and we do. Read. Revelation 21. We re we win, people. We actually win. So, with that being said, hold me the man. He's got to get to work now. I got the last finishing touches on the CD project, and uh, like I said, people, it's, 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 I'm, I'm, I might sound like I'm trying to make it more, but I'm not. I'm not. I just I'm just so glad to be able to see some things come together. It's just a little simple. Simple Christmas CD that I decided I would do, and, and uh, traditional. I mean, some traditions should remain. I tell y'all that too. There are some traditions that we should keep, and I was just thinking in the tradition of Christmas time. And not by I know Christ wasn't born on December twenty fifth, but that's when we celebrate. That's when we celebrate it. That's I mean, I'm not trying to. It, it, matter of fact, I don't care when he was born. I'm just glad he was born. And I'm going to give him his day. And we decided to do that on December 25th. And just like people, certain people will honor me on my birthday, which is November 3rd, I'm going to honor him. I picked, the, well, it was picked for me, my culture. My culture picked it for me. That December 25th, was the day they decided that they would honor our Lord and Savior's birth. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, gonna, I'm celebrating it in the spirit of that that he was born. I'm like Papa JT. It doesn't matter. I don't care if he was born on July or, or, or January. or That doesn't matter. But I'm just glad he was born. And you better be glad he was born too. And the one thing that you better be glad, I'm glad he died. That's the main thing. And he rose again. That I might have a light right to the tree of life. All I got to go is go to the cross. To the foot of the cross. There's, there's, that's everything. At the foot of the cross. As forgiveness at the foot of the cross. As eternal life at the foot of the cross. So with that being said, this is a man saying, Happy Thanksgiving. People, enjoy your life. Enjoy yourself. Do it well, but keep God first. And remember, whatever you get and whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. This is a man saying, Happy Thanksgiving again. Peace. Goodbye.